there was just, you know, with Lily, there was, um, you know, she was just this, you know, bunkin from Southern Indiana. And then she has this magical freshman year. She goes into Olympic trials after her freshman year and wins. And she's like first in the world. And, and the, you know, David Marsh is like, Hey, you know, like we expect a gold medal here. He was the head women's coach. <laughs> and he goes, you know, we expect a gold medal here and, you know, don't screw this up. <laughs> and, and I'm like, all right, you know, and I, and I was trying to help her. She was such a rookie. Um, and there was all this doping stuff sure. going into that race with, uh, you know, Yulia. Yeah. Yulia had been banned from the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Um, like weeks before and they were going through court of arbitration and the night before the game started, they let the seven Russian kids all back in. Mm. And, um, Kate Ledecky came up to me and this is like, she, you know, Hunter breast comes first or second day. I get, I guess men go first day, women go second day. And Kate Ledecky goes, Hey, guess what Lily just said about FMOVA being let into the Olympics. And I'm like, I don't even want to know. I didn't even want to talk to Lily about it. And she said she's happy because mm. now she can beat her straight up. And I'm mm. like, well, that's the right answer. Mm. But uh, like, I was just trying to help Lily. I was trying to protect her from the extra pressure and scrutiny and all. And, and I said, hey, don't, don't get involved in that drug talk. Like, just let the older girls, the more experienced handle it. And she goes, that, that's a really good plan because like, I'm kind of nervous and Normally she's not nervous. She's like just a stud, like yeah. thrives under pressure. But, you know, she didn't realize they were filming the, the ready rooms. No, nobody told her. Yeah. And they caught her, caught her wagging that finger. And then the, the NBC people were like, why are you wagging the finger? And she goes, well, I'll just, uh, gotcha. sorry about that. Yeah. Down to 10% battery. Hopefully this lasts, but she goes, uh, she just, she spilled the beans on everything she hated about doping and just went nuts. Fair and enough. I didn't see, I, I didn't, yeah, fair enough. And, uh, but we were going to, the plan was to avoid all that. Right. To keep pressure off of her. Right. So that she could just, just race. And she just completely dialed it up to where if you lost, you were going to have egg on your face for decades, like maybe ever. And, um, but you know, David and I spoke about it and we were like, well, it's the cat's out of the bag. So we just have to support this. And uh, like before that race, I was just like, if she loses, it's going to be so bad. And I got, I can't think that way, <laughs> you know, and, and, and Yulia comes back strong in a yeah. race. Yeah. So the, the plan was to try to let Lily be herself and go out. And I said, you're going to have to go out all out, just get the biggest lead you could possibly get. And she goes, well, what if I die? And I go, you're, you're going <clears> to, <throat> you're going to die for sure. The plan is she'll die worse. You'll, <laughs> you'll drag her out to, uh, you know, an uncomfortable mm. place. Yeah. And I put myself like in the stands, right. Where I thought Yuli might catch her, yep. which was about the flags. And she caught her at the flags, literally. And I'm just like, worst nightmare. But Yuli just stopped moving forward at that point. She was swimming but not moving forward. So, yeah. yeah well, I also think that there's a point in Lily where she senses that. I've seen her in other races where she senses yeah. people. And she has a knack for getting her hand on the wall. Like, like it's a, it's a determination. Like I'm touching that wall before anyone else. Yeah. There's something about her where if she's even with somebody with last lap, last 10 meters, last five meters, you, you would never want to bet against her. No. I've never seen her lose in that environment where she could just be dead, like nothing left yet. She'll, she'll pull it out. And you saw that with ISL a lot too. Does that happen in practice or is that really just a competition thing where she's under pressure? Only competition, only wow. under extreme pressure. Wow. Like, for her to, to, to like break a world record or to do something spe special, she has got to be under the gun, back against the wall, like the most threatening person mm. in front of her, against her, Isn't to, it amazing? to get that level. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. <clears throat> like for me, in a way, that didn't bring out the best in me. I, I felt that pressure when I was at the Olympic Games. Yeah. I was in lane five in the final in 2004. I felt that lane five. Like 
I felt the yeah. weight of lane five. But there are people, rare people like Lily, who have this ability to thrive and expand and grow under that type of pressure. It's super rare, right? Very rare. It's the only athlete I've ever had at that level. And she wants it. Like, she's, like, bored if she doesn't get it. Yeah. And, and she's looking for it. Mm -hmm. Like then the, the, the meets that she gets to go to where that actually happens, it could be two years apart and then just trying to keep her interested. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. I have never had Blake's probably the second in line as far as like somebody that in the worst of scenarios, the most, you know, uh, you know, weighted pressure, just being able to, to perform, pull sure. it out. Sure. But Lily's like just, almost wouldn't say she's a guarantee but gosh i just when when the chips when all the chips are in the center of the table you just want to see that race yeah because you, you just know that. something good yeah you know something good's gonna happen